High Cancer. Okay, the High Priestess. Queen of Pentacles. The Magician. Three of Pentacles. Queen of Swords. And the star card, very nice, Cancer. Okay, so the High Priestess is going to be a big reveal this month. Something is going to come to illumination with the High Priestess here. She sends us news. Um, something comes to fruition. Something comes about. Something happens. This is a new idea. This could also be a pregnancy, the birth of a new child. News of pregnancy around you. News of a new loved one. Something that's going to come in quite unexpectedly. And the high priestess often brings a prophecy with her because when I think of the high priestess, you know, you know, I think of ancient Greece, I think of ancient Mesopotamia, I think of all these beautiful ancient mythologies that would have this um, enchantress, this priestess that could foretell the future, that could foretell a prophecy, like a sea, um, and she would she knows what's ahead she knows what's for the future so i feel like a prophecy is about to come true so whether this is someone new coming into your life whether this is something that's happening around you at work whether this is the birth of a new idea this is something that's sort of meant to be is how i feel when i see the high priestess in this reading and it's interesting that you've got the star card as well because pair these two together cancer and it's really um, a strong notion of fate and something being written in the stars for you so I feel like this month might be a major turning point. There could be a lot happening for you, but this is what's meant to be. This is what's in your path. And I feel like you can't fight fate. Whether this is serendipity, it certainly could be. You might be meeting someone this month that you end up spending the rest of your life with. Or you might be meeting someone that's supposed to be in your life to teach you things about yourself, about love, about what you'll tolerate, what you won't. This is someone that's going to be important for you. It doesn't necessarily have to be romantic. It could even be a friend, an associate, a colleague, or even a company you might start working for. But this is written in the stars for you with the High Priestess. As I mentioned, some of you might be um, getting pregnant, having a child. This could certainly be happening here. Whether it's um, planned or unplanned, this is, you know, it's sort of written in the stars here for you with the High Priestess. But something is definitely going to be revealed. You might even be consulting someone. There's sort of like an esoteric feeling with the High Priestess. So you might be consulting a tarot reader, a psychic, a medium. It's sort of getting involved in maybe spirituality, white magic, the dark arts, anything to do with this, um, you know, clairvoyancy, mediumship. So this could be prominent for you, tell you something that might come to fruition and will really, you know, scare you um, or just, you know, you might freak out a little bit because you'll think, wow, this is what this person said and it actually came true. So something, a prophecy could be revealed to you through this person even that might communicate something to, um, to you about your future. So that's kind of exciting there, Cancer. But moving on, we have the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is... Could be an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo that's around you. <clears throat> it could even be you. This is an either an asset that's around you or this is someone that's coming into your life. This is something that you can actually hold. So whether this is a person, whether this is, you know, an, a, a car, you know, be inside a home. This is you having finances in front of you. This is you having finances on your lap. And the Queen of Pentacles is quite an established and affluent energy. So I'm not sure if you have someone older that's around you or a friend or a romantic partner, whether she's female, um, whether this person is female or male, but they're around you and they're very established. They're very goal-oriented. They're very practical. They've got money. They've got um, goals. They have things behind them in their material world. They own homes, they own assets, they own companies, you know, something like this. This person is either around you, is going to be around you, or this could even be you. But I feel like you've got an asset here, Cancer. You're holding something in your hands here. And you're, it's like a, almost like a prized possession. So whether it's a person, it could even be a child. You know, pentacles is anything in the physical form. You could be holding a newborn child in your lap. It might not necessarily be yours. You could have a friend that recently gave birth. You could have money, but you, it could even be money, finances in your hands here with the Queen of Pentacles. Um, this could even be, as I said, a large asset that's looming. I feel there's money coming in for you though. And if it's not a pregnancy, 
it's definitely the birth of a new idea that's going to generate money. So it could be a creative pursuit. It could be a new client. You know, if you're sort of in that industry where you need to gain clients and you're commission based, there's certainly someone coming in around you that's going to prove quite lucrative and fruitful and um, uh, financially abundant. This person could be around you or could be coming in around you um, in, in this month. It could very well be your own finances that you're planning to do something autonomous. The magician is someone that works autonomously. He performs for people. I feel like the you might have a large viewership. All eyes are on you. I feel like this is going to be a really good month for you, Cancer. Most of you, at least. Um, with the magician, you know, he has a viewership. He's got a fan base. So I feel like, you know... If you're working your way up to fame, I feel like people are going to know who you are. People are interested to see what you're wearing, who you're with, what you're doing. Um, you know, whether it's through social media or through production or you being in the limelight. Or you climbing your way to fame because you also have the star card. This is fame and recognition and being a star to someone in their eyes. But this is also, if you're starting a creative pursuit, this is something that's going to take off. And you're either going to start online um, because people are looking, people are going to know the name of this, this product, this service you provide, whatever it is that you've been working on. Maybe it's not a creative pursuit. It could be that you're working for a company or a corporation and you, you move up to a more autonomous role. You have, you suddenly have a lot of people that are reporting directly to you. So there's a lot more accountability, a lot more responsibility. This could be working with production, working with shows, working for performances, performing yourself, busking even this is a new beginning though with the magician this could even be the beginning of a new romance look at this beautiful lush garden he has around him he has everything he needs or she has everything he needs in his repertoire to get started there's absolutely nothing holding him back all the resources are there everything he needs is there this is wonderful wonderful to see cancer could even be an aries this is, could even be, as I said, serendipity, someone you meet through work or through a performance or through a show even. Because you do have the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles is you visiting places. This is job interviews. This is meeting up with friends. This is networking. This is meeting up with people face-to-face, -face, negotiating. This could be negotiating over a property, negotiating over um, you know an autonomous creative pursuit negotiating for the company or the corporation you work for here with the three of pentacles this is you visiting buildings churches religious houses um, sponsoring religious houses showing off your product this is could be markets conventions conferences this is you liaising with people negotiating with them offering your services offering yourself um, you know promoting yourself maybe this is a job interview and something might become illuminated about this job interview. If you've recently been for one, you might hear news from this person um, that you, you that you're getting you're getting the job because I see there's a salary here, there's money, there's opportunity for the start of something new, and a lot of communication here with the Queen of Swords. So there's a lot of communication. A very very busy month for you, Cancer. Um, I just really really positive month, and hopefully it is for for all of you. But there's definitely a lot of talks about something. Something big is circulating and it's going to be announced. So it's almost like a big reveal that you might be waiting for. You might be communicating. Maybe you're in the events, you know, maybe you're in media, events, PR. The Queen of Swords, there's a lot of communication coming from an air sign. I feel like she's a Gemini here. Could be a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. You do have these two signs here, air signs. There could be strong communication. This could be. This is someone that's very articulate, very well spoken, very charming, very charismatic. This person I feel is around you. Um, it's either this is the person that's going to reveal something to you. This could be the tarot reader you consult, the medium, or this is a person you know working in your company or the you know someone that's going to reveal something to you. It doesn't necessarily have to be a female, although you do have strong female energy here with these two cards. Um, especially with the Queen of Pentacles here and the High Priestess. You have more females and males in these cards. But um, regardless of gender, the Queen of Swords, this is a big and important conversation that's taking place. And I have a feeling it's to do with the High Priestess and a big reveal here. 
So I feel like you're anticipating this reveal, whether it's the outcome of a job interview, the go ahead for a property, um, you know, finally revealing your website, putting things, you know, online, putting things out there for people to view and comment and, you know, um, review. But there's lots of communication that's happening. You're going to be corresponding with a lot of different people here in different departments. You could even be corresponding with famous people, depending on what industry you're in, or very, very important people with the Queen of Swords. She's very important. She's usually in a high position. She's usually taking care um, of a lot of people. A lot of people are reporting to her. So this could be you, or this could be, you know, you're pitching a presentation. There's a big presentation coming up, a big reveal, an opening an opportunity to pitch a product for investing. You know, it could be a, a wide variety of things, but I feel for the most part, you're going to really um, communicate very well. So if it's a job interview, you're going to, you're going to be communicating very well. I feel there's good, um, you're going to either build a good rapport with a client, a customer, an employer. And as a result, this person is going to put you in the public eye um, or give you something that's meant for you that's written in the stars for you so whether this meeting this interview this person you could even hear from someone you you know it's going to come really um i feel it could be face to face but it could also be online you're going to hear from someone you might even start dating someone famous or someone that's in the public eye someone that's very well known but I feel it's going to happen very suddenly and you're going to be shocked and surprised to hear of this person or have this news come, come to you, Cancer. But definitely a lot of communication through online and, you know, physically seeing this person. We've got the star card. This is fame. Things are written in the stars. This is destiny. It could be a strong Aquarian that's around you. I mean, you do have earth signs here too. So Taurus, Virgo, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, um, or Capricorn. Is Capricorn the one I missed? I think it was. Something's going to be revealed about this person or they're going to reveal something to you, the company. There's a new opening. There's a new division opening up. There's change. There's You might reveal to other people you're thinking about branching out, starting a new company. There's definitely... Um, news that's coming in here but this is fame for some of you there's fame circulating around you or something you reveal or you do or you perform or you teach or you blog about is going to make you famous could be writing a book could be providing a product inventing a product a service providing a service it's going to make you famous this is also healing uh, for some of you you might have had you know it might have been tough lately and you've coupled up and then, you know, you have a child together. And this is what really heals you, heals the relationship, heals your past pains, your past hurts. The star card brings us healing and emotional abundance and um, emotional, you know, emotional abundance where we didn't have any before. So that's lovely to see with the star card. This is healing that's taking place. Maybe it's an air sign that's providing you healing or an earth sign. Or maybe they're offering you advice and solace and they're going to reveal, they're going to open up about something and you're going to feel like you're connecting with them on a whole new level. This could be the company you work for. This might be, it might be raised to new heights. Something that the company does could be in the news for one reason or another, regardless of the industry you're in. Or you could be attending an event, um, a concert, a performance, someone famous, someone that performs something with the magician. Um, you know, there's always a precursor that comes with the magician because the magician often tricks us. He's deceitful, deceitful for entertainment purposes, deceitful, coy, playful. This could be the characteristics of the person that you're meeting or the person that's around you or something to do with this high priestess here as well. So just be careful that you're not being deceived or there's not a bit of trickery and you read the fine print, you know, you make sure everything's legitimate, the clients are legitimate or whoever it is that you're meeting or whoever it is you're trying to promote, you know, maybe you're in PR and you're trying to promote someone famous or a, or a company, a brand. So make sure, you know, you, you cross all your T's and dot all your I's because with the magician, 
you know, sometimes they, they can falsify a few things or deceive in certain ways. So that's something to look out for. But all in all, Cancer, I'm really loving this reading.